Swinging flies is relaxing, effective, and easy. In fact, it's the easiest way to get beginners into the sport. Let's go over gear, technique, and where to catch fish using one of the oldest fly fishing techniques. The gear is rather simple. Before you go out and buy a new rod, know this. Any rod will do. Your standard 9 foot 5 weight with a floating fly line is all you need. Longer rods are slightly more effective, but I have even successfully swung with 6 foot rods before too. A standard weight forward fly line is great. A preference does go to double taper floating lines. Skagit and skinny lines are great too, but require additional gear and skill to execute them properly. Your standard 9 foot 4x leader is perfect. If you desire to get your fly deeper, then poly leaders work wonders. I prefer an 8 foot intermediate poly leader like this one, but you can experiment with a bunch of them to see what works for your waters. Tippet should be fluorocarbon as it can take a beating and doesn't stick to the surface film. Pretty much any fly can be swung, but the most popular are soft hackles. Sizes in 12 to 16 seem to do the trick. Flies that I do well with are the popular partridge in orange, black spider, and march brown. I use these all year with great results. Alternatively, swinging small streamers like a muddler minnow and various other patterns are also effective. Split shot is used sometimes, but for the most part it is not needed. Poly leaders, sparse or weighted fly patterns can also get your fly down as well as adding sometimes a little bit of slack into your presentation, but more on that soon. Trout can be found in a lot of places in the river, but catching them swinging flies usually requires a nice, even pace flow of water. A riffle that has some rocks or other structure where fish can hide and ambush seems to really work well. Flow should be a brisk walking pace, but you can also work faster waters, but will need a lot more weight to get the fly below the surface. A nice stretch of water with depths of one and a half feet or greater are generally a great place to start swinging. Unlike dry fly fishing where you start at the bottom of a river and work your way to the top, swinging begins at the top of the run and you work your way to the bottom. Simply start by letting out a little bit of line and flick your fly out into the water. The current will do the rest and pull your fly downstream. Always fish the water next to your feet first in case there is a fish right in front of you. You can now do a simple overhand cast 30 to 45 degrees to the current seam. Now if you can't do a really good overcast, that's not a problem because the current will pull your fly perfectly down the river. You just don't even have to do anything and that's why it's wonderful for beginners. Be sure to follow your fly line, leader and fly with your rod tip. This ensures that if you get a strike, you will feel it right away. Once your fly is done swinging in the current and just dangling at the bottom of the swing, this is called the dangle. You can leave it on the dangle for a few moments. Often a fish will strike, so be patient. You can also animate your fly by twitching the rod or jerking the fly line to add some action. These actions can often entice a strike as well. Once you have completed a few swings, it is good practice to work the run by safely taking a few steps down the river and swinging again. This will present your fly to potentially oh new God. fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Another way to swing is by moving your rod into other seams in the run or by structure. This has yielded me fantastic results, but be warned though, the fly doesn't swing naturally and can put off any wary fish so you will usually get only one shot at a fish in those situations. If you saw some fish swimming away or they didn't fully commit to your fly, it's often best practice to switch things up. If you're skating the surface without any takes, maybe put on a weighted fly or switch to a faster sinking poly leader. Also, just changing your fly to a different color or profile can make all the difference. Don't be afraid to switch things up and try the run again after a while. When you feel a fish strike your fly, 
don't just set the hook right away. Be patient and the fish will hook itself. After the initial strike, say to yourself, oh, nice fish, or something to that effect, and finally set the hook. More often than not, you will feel the weight of the fish. When fighting a fish, you want to keep side pressure to work the fish without popping the fly out of its mouth. Also, try to keep your rod tip up as you will be fighting over a lot of rocks. You will lose a lot of fish until you master these fighting techniques, but after a while, it will become second nature. Those were the basics and honestly, you can really get down the rabbit hole of swinging flies. I use this technique a lot and love it. You should give it a shot. Please share, like and subscribe. It sincerely helps. Thank you.